BJ Clark, you're the national president of the RSA, and you've recently had to make some really tough calls around the annual Poppy Day appeal, but also Anzac Day, all because of this nationwide lockdown. Tell us what's been going on, BJ. Yes, unfortunately, due to the COVID-19, we have had to, uh, at this stage, postpone Poppy Day and cancel all the Anzac Day services around the country, which is very difficult for people who want to attend Anzac Day services for their remembrance of their whānau uh, that have served. But as in regard to the poppy collection, that's going to have a severe impact on our ability to support our veterans over the coming year. Absolutely, an incredibly tough decision to make. I mean, this Poppy Day appeal, that has been around for, for decades. Tell us its history. This is a big decision for the whole country, right? Part of our culture. Yes, it was an extremely difficult decision, one of the hardest I've ever had to make. Uh, but it was a decision that was supported by all members of the RSA associations around the country. And it was to cancel Poppy Day, which has been in existence since 1922. So that's that's the actual basis of what the RSA was formed for, is to provide support and welfare for our veterans. So that's the bad news. But fortunately, you have received some good news recently. Tell us about Perpetual Guardian's Let's Not Forget campaign and how you became involved. Yes, well, we're extremely fortunate and appreciative of the fact that Perpetual Guardian contacted us and they were concerned about the fact that we couldn't hold the, our poppy collection this year and they understood the impact that it would have on our ability to provide support. So they offered to start up a Give It A Little page and the uh, Perpetual Guardian uh, Foundation um, started the seeding off with $25,000 and Perpetual Guardian themselves added in a further $1,500. So the total has already got a good start. That is a fantastic start. Now tell us how this campaign actually works. How do regular New Zealanders, Kiwis get involved? So firstly, I'd just like to say that we do understand that with the current situation in New Zealand, that there are people losing their jobs and, and the financial stress on families is great. However, if people wish to donate, they can go to the Give a Little page and donate as, as little or as much as they would like. And every cent will be uh, appreciated by the RSA. And you talk about how that those funds are used by the RSA. This is obviously the crucial issue. Tell us how important are those funds and what are they used for? Okay, so as I said, the, the RSA was formed to provide support for our veterans. And so the, the types of support that we provide, it might be, for example, to assist in medical bills. Uh, it might be to help with hearing aids or, or spectacles. It might even help a, a veteran if he's really um, struggling with a bit of money towards his power bills or other sort of comforts. But also the other thing that we do, particularly now with our younger veterans, uh, those who have served in Afghanistan, etc., we are finding that uh, what we call post-traumatic stress injury is quite a scourge. And so therefore the mental stress on our service personnel today is, is uh, very high. And to assist those veterans, our younger veterans, then part of this poppy funds will go towards them as well. Fantastic cause. BJ Clark, thank you for speaking with us and best of luck. Thank you very much. And I just would like to say to everyone in New Zealand, they can be assured that every cent will be used to support our veterans. Thank you.